I went to elementary school back in the 80s and the 90s. Those were the good old days where retired grandmas would come to the school and they would make lunch from scratch. I remember living for their homemade cinnamon rolls, peanut butter fingers, taco Tuesday. Oh, grandmas knew how to make the best food. But grandmas also had some pretty soft bodies. And when they would reach out to give us the items, there would be a jiggle going on under their arm. So that became affectionately known as lunch lady arms. I've also heard them called bat wings. Um, You name it. Tell me what you call it. I've heard all kinds of things. But what was embarrassing is I was an eight-year-old, nine-year-old, 10-year-old all through my elementary days. I had the lunch lady arms and all the other kids knew it and they pointed it out. I still have the lunch lady arms. So it is that extra skin that just jiggles under your bicep. No matter what you do, you can't get rid of it. I didn't know until I pursued a a master's degree in nutrition, why that was happening. So I just kind of dealt with it. I would hide it under clothing. I was embarrassed, especially as an elementary and teenager age child. It's really embarrassing to be called a lunch lady, but I later found out that this is a very, very common symptom of thyroid disease. And that is because oftentimes when the thyroid doesn't work well, the adrenals will come in and try to pick up the function. So they'll see that the thyroid's just not doing great. So they'll send out excess hormones to try and make up for the non-function. One of those hormones is cortisol. And in the beginning, cortisol will make you feel really good. It'll get you going and moving and carrying on like nothing's wrong. But cortisol also loves to eat that tissue under the arms. So it'll metabolize the protein under your arms and turn it into fuel for the body. That equals the jiggle that equals the lunch lady and the bat wings. And it's not always reversible, which I've learned through my history. What is reversible though, is the function of the adrenals. So if you're having that symptom, if you're noticing that that tissue under your arms is becoming really, really uh, soft and flimsy and your skin is becoming um, weaker, it's a really good indication that perhaps the adrenals are working too hard to take, to make up for something else that's going in the body. So the common things that the adrenals overwork for are infections. If there's a sneaky infection going on, usually in the gut, the adrenals will have to work harder to keep you functioning, which means that they will cause jiggly upper arms and they'll cause issues in other places. And they'll also, those infections will also slow down the thyroid. So what you end up with here is a low functioning thyroid with adrenals that are working too hard to try and keep you moving and functioning and taking care of all the things you need to do. And the result of that, well, it's a lunch lady arms without the homemade cinnamon rolls. So if that's happening, we need to find out what is going on that is triggering these adrenals. And I love the organic acids test and the the mycotoxin mold test for the reason that it helps us see what type of little sneaky little infections might be going on in the gut that are causing the adrenals to overproduce hormones. It also looks at the adrenal hormones. So this test will show us if you're overproducing those adrenal hormones that are eating up your muscle and causing the jiggly jig. So I will post a link for my masterclass where I talk more about these tests And let's look into it together. Let's find out how we can stop that jiggle from happening and how you can get some really awesome biceps. All right. I'll talk to you soon.